Hi everyone, welcome to the Daily Pick a Card. I hope you all are doing well. Take a minute to look at the cards. If you need more time, go ahead and pause now. Otherwise, let's begin. Card number one is the Two of Wands. So, you can see that this picture is clearly showing that there's two different paths, right? This person can either go to the right or they can go to the left. It's like one's the right way, one's the wrong way, but you know, today I'm looking at this card as they both will lead to the same place, but one is going to take you a lot longer. It's as if if you if you pick the one where you have to keep repeating the lessons, okay? So it's it, it, it's the thought of trying to get to a certain goal, right? To get some type of achievement here, something that's going to make you happy. Because there's something, some type of sense here that something's missing. So this person's going out to achieve and get it. Whether it's money, whether it's a relationship. Okay. It's if I ever get the mindset. Or if I ever have money, I'll be happy. Or if I ever have a relationship, I'll be happy. Or... If, you know, if I looked a certain way, I'd be happy. If I lost 50 pounds, I'd be happy. Do you think that's true? Because, for example, although if you have more money, yes, it can make it easier to enjoy life and you can do more things. But... You must be happy with yourself, because if not, whether it be money, the relationship, success, it's never truly going to be enough. There's still always going to be something missing. Always. Do these things help us feel good? Sure. But you have to find it. You have to find the happiness within yourself. Stop looking all the places it's not. Because all you have to do is look in the mirror. And find happiness within you. And if you're not happy, you need to work on that to find happiness within yourself. So I hope that helped. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Card two, the seven of cups. Dreams, distractions, illusions, empty fantasies, not reality. The seven of cups can represent you know, avoidance for taking responsibility about for how you got to where you are in life at the moment. You know, you can't lose weight and eat fast food every day, right? Greasy hamburgers, french fries. Are you, are you, are you afraid to fail? Are you worried that others will be disappointed in you here? Do you have the lack of confidence to get the ball rolling? Are you really ignoring what's truly in front of you by making them, these th some things appear prettier than what they really are? This is a card to say, stop ignoring the reality. 
It's time to take action. Bring your inner vision to light. Dream big and work at it. Do not allow other people, other influences, whatever that means to you, distract you, excuse me, distract you, you know, it's, oh, if I won the lottery, all my prayers are going to be answered, no, because with money comes problems. You have people come out the woodwork and, you know, <laughs> to trying to get money. And if you've ever watched stories of people who won the lottery, a lot of them don't even have money anymore because they never discipline themselves on how to use caution with that kind of money. So think about what illusions, distractions are there and what truly is your dream and what is it that you truly want and go get it. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Card three is the six of swords. Go with the flow. <laughs> okay. Some of you may be traveling. Some of you may be moving. Some of you may be leaving a relationship, leaving a job. Okay. But whatever it is, whatever's happening now, whatever discomfort you are feeling, know that it is temporary and will soon be over. Because you are headed toward karma waters here. So, it's also about you being able to identify what must you leave behind. What troubles do you need to leave in the past? Because changes are happening and they're for your, for your highest good. They're for the better. And you might not see it now, but this is an exciting type of movement. And remember that during this, these moves here, whether it's one of these or multiple, yeah, there's, tur there's turbulent water, but you're heading to a whole new horizon over here into calmer water. And when you get to land, it's going to be better than you expected. So go with the flow. I hope this helped. If this resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.